Putin declares war. Huge explosion shakes Russian military base in Crimea. A series of large explosions occurred near a Russian airbase in the Crimean Peninsula. It is suspected that this was a Ukrainian attack, but Russia says it was an explosion of ammunition stored at the base. A video shared on Twitter today, August 9th, shows a series of large explosions near Russia's Saiki Air and Naval Base on the Crimean Peninsula, about 200 kilometers from Russia's front line in southern Ukraine. Reuters quoted two witnesses as saying they saw at least 12 explosions with varying degrees of intensity in just one minute at about 3.30 p.m. on August 9th, in which there are three particularly loud explosions, followed by both fire and smoke. About 30 minutes later there was another explosion and this time the loudest. Sirens in the nearby town of Seiki were howling continuously. According to The Guardian's reporter, this seems to be an attack by the Ukrainian military against a Russian military target in the Crimean Peninsula. However, the Russian Defense Ministry issued a statement saying that this was an explosion of ammunition stored at the base. The rescue team promptly extinguished the fire and determined the cause of the explosion, the statement said. Crimean Governor Sergei Aksyonor said he was at the scene. An advisor to him also confirmed the explosions, but did not specify the cause. So far, I can only confirm that there are some explosions in the Novofedorivka area. I ask everyone to wait for more official information, the advisor said. Yuri Kotnok, a pro-Russian military commander, said there were about 10 explosions. The windows 20 kilometers away from Novofedorivka also vibrated, the commander said. Another local official revealed, there was an explosion at our airport. All the windows were broken. The explosions injured three people, although the Russian Defense Ministry previously said there were no casualties and that the airport was not damaged, according to the Crimean Emergency Service. The head of Crimea, Sergei Aksyonor, said it was too early to determine the number of casualties as rescuers were still working to assist at the scene. The Crimean Peninsula was annexed to Russia in 2014 after a controversial and little recognized referendum. During peace talks with Ukraine, Russia declared the Crimea issue non-negotiable. However, Kiev insists it will regain all of its lost territory, including Crimea. Last month, Vadim Skibitsky, a spokesman for the intelligence service of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, revealed that the Ukrainian military is trying to attack the warships of the Russian Black Sea Fleet based in Crimea with modern artillery batteries built by the Russian Federation. Western Offer According to Skibitsky, Crimea is becoming a hub for transporting all equipment and weapons from Russia, which are then shipped to supply Russian forces in Ukraine. Kiev began targeting Crimea after receiving long-range artillery batteries from the west, starting with the attacks on a Russian rig off the coast of Crimea in June, followed by the attack on the fleet headquarters. Black Sea by Drone Philip O'Brien, professor of strategic studies at the University of St. Andrews, commented, what the Ukrainians are doing is very important. By showing that they can attack Crimea, they will stretch that capability. Russia's defense. The Russians will have to defend a large area behind the front lines.